many of the matter actually look like this like the sheet of the glass or the wood we can say so or the walls they seem to be continuous although all these things are being considered as matter the floor actually look like that of the continuous thing so the particulate nature they come to the conclusion that matter exactly made up of the particulate nature and all the matter in this universe is actually made up of the particles the single drop of water the single students okay drop of water contain 10 raised to the power 22 molecules of the water so water seem to be continuous okay water seem to be a continuous form of the matter but it is also made up of the particles <music>
smaller and smaller particles they are actually made up of students okay these small 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 particles like that means if we go on dividing this matter into smaller and smaller particles they we will find out the students they are made up of smaller small smaller particles if we talk about the drop of the water a single drop of water students contain 10 raised to the power 22 molecules of water the single drop of water a single students okay drop of water contain 10 raised to the power 22 molecules of the water so water seem to be continuous okay water seem to be a continuous form of the matter but it is also made up of the particles so from there the physical nature of this matter has been proved up that the matter has the particulate nature now students the matter is made up of particles for that we have a small activity as well to prove that so in this case we are taking students a beaker full of water and we are putting a tablespoon of salt into it so the salt will first settle at the bottom and with the help of the glass rod when we try to stir it what will happen it will get dissolved and disappear so it simply disappear where exactly it goes yes or no if you try to students okay uh, find out its presence then what you can do so you can simply take a tablespoon of the solution and try to taste it it will feel salty yes or no it will taste salty so that means salt is still present in this water but it simply disappears where exactly it goes so the observation we have over here that the common salt settle at the base of the beaker as it is a continuous form of the matter and then students the water molecules try to break those salt particles into extremely smaller particles the extremely small particles of the common salt they position themselves into the small space between the particles of matter yes there is a small space as well between the particles of matter because water is also made up of particles and they have a space so in that space the salt particle get into it they actually first break themselves into smaller and smaller particles. water molecule break them into smaller and smaller particles and in that space they get into so that means the salt is still present in it when we taste it it tastes salty that means the salt is still present but it simply disappears that means students it get into the space and it has divided itself into smaller and smaller particle so that it is invisible to our naked eyes by simple through the naked eyes of students okay the salt particles are not being visible into the water because they have students converted into further smaller and smaller particles so size of the particle we have over here the matter is made up of extremely small particle we have one more activity to understand this thing the size of the particles so in this we have taken a students four beaker full of water and now we are going to take what we will take a tablespoon of potassium permanganate KMnO4 potassium permanganate which has which is purple color okay crystals and when we are going to okay uh, put those crystals into the first beaker with the help of the glass rod we are going to stir it what will happen the whole solution become dark purple in the color now what will we will do over there students we will take a syringe we will take an injection now we are going to take the 10 ml of the solution from this first beaker and add that 10 ml into the another one what will happen then slight dilution will take place over there we will take again the 10 ml from this add it on to the another one yes or no yeah we have done what you are observing slight dimming of the color or slight students okay the color is getting fading away the dark purple color is students fading away but still you can observe the purple color the shade of the purple color over there in the last beaker as well that means that means what the crystals of potassium permanganate they were made up of millions of small particles and when we have tried it tried students okay to transfer them into another and another beaker they were dividing themselves as students okay into further smaller and smaller particles and till the fourth beaker the color was not disappeared students okay still 
the particles were being present in the fourth beaker as well although the quantity has been changed although there was some difference in the color but it was not students completely disappear it was still there in the fourth beaker that means the two to three crystals of potassium permanganate they are actually made up of millions of small particles they keep on dividing themselves in each dilution and students they were imparting their color they were showing their color as well in the fourth beaker so through this activity we understand that matter is made up of extremely small particles they go on dividing themselves okay if you try to do so and students the matter is made up of the particulate matter has the particulate nature and it is made up of extremely small particles so let's see how the question can come up related to the topic water is a matter because it has mass it occupies a space it is colorless or both one and two or none of these so water is a matter students because it has the mass and occupies a space because of the color the water is not being considered as matter so we are going to go with both one and two as your the answer got it one more question we have over here says that when some amount of sugar is being dissolved in a glass filled with the water there is no increase in the level of the water which of the following statement seem correct for this observation when we have added some amount of sugar okay glass filled with the water there is no increase in the level of the water where exactly does that sugar disappears just now in the activity we have learned that particle of the matter they have space between them and in those water particles there was a space in that space the sugar particle also get divided into smaller smaller particle and get intact into that so the way we have prepared the salt solution we can prepare the sugar solution as well and sugar also disappears over there so i hope you have understood the physical nature of the matter that physical nature of the matter is your the particle nature or the particle we'll see you guys in another one thank you